Hi, my name is Ted Lear, and I'm about to tell you a true love story that happened starting in 2010. It's the love of my wife and the search for true happiness. And I've got to tell you, it's quite a story. I used to have a YouTube channel in the Philippines for five years. I had over 10,000 subscribers. It was uh, about the family life and the things that I experienced and the things that I learned and how you can be so wrong about life until you understand life. So I'd like to start by telling you that uh, when I first started chatting with my wife on the internet online, it was quite a story to tell because I didn't really know anything about what was happening where she was. So anyway, uh, I find her through a uh, site, a website called Filipina Kisses, and I found out that uh, she could get in contact with me if I left her a message. So I did, and when she did contact me, we had a chat. In the first chat, I said to her, you're very pretty, and she said to me, only on the inside, I'm a child of God. Well, it was the start of something in my mind that was just too good to be true. Uh, I had been looking for somebody all my life who was really a child of God. Uh, I was an evangelist and uh, come to find out that uh, my wife was living in the parsonage of the Assemblies of God Church in the Philippines. So I also found out that she was the head of music ministry. So it struck a real chord with me that, you know, this could be really something special. Maybe, maybe this is going to develop into something that could really be unbelievable. Uh, at the time, uh, I was living 10,000 miles away from the Philippines and uh, had no idea of what I might uh, expect there. So anyway, uh, we started chatting and talking about different things and about what we look for in life. And I thought, well, you know, this could be so amazing. Uh, this lady, uh, I learned, was a college graduate with a uh, degree in computer science and also a, 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 a court stenographer. So I thought, wow, that's really unusual. And uh, as we went along, I found out that she had really devoted her life to God and helping people. And uh, I was really, truly amazed. And I started really looking forward to our chats. And as we went along, I learned more and more about her and her family. And it was uh, pretty much inevitable that we were gonna get together. How, I didn't know. But uh, finally one day, after two or three months of chatting, she says, if you come to the Philippines, I'll marry you. And I was like, wow. You know, I felt the same way about her. And uh, I didn't really know how to ask her. And I didn't really know what to say to her. Uh, except 
Sure, I, I'd love to marry you. You're, you're the girl of my dreams. You're the woman of my dreams. And uh, I said, well, let me see what I can do. So, I'm going to do these little sessions in short segments so that they don't get too boring. So, I'm going to close this one off and say that what you saw at the beginning of this was a title that I made up that I think is very reminiscent of something that I learned in the past about English. So, if you have figured out the title, then you're very good at English. It's about punctuation. So, if you learned how to punctuate what you saw there, you can end up being a master of English. So, until next time.